As far as most of us are concerned, there are two distinct and separate versions of Minecraft, Minecraft Java Edition and Bedrock Edition, both of which have their advantages and disadvantages. Java Edition has an expansive and vibrant server community where enormous multi-server networks thrive, and Bedrock Edition can be played on a myriad of devices like phones, tablets, consoles, and even computers via Windows 10. While there are server networks for Bedrock Edition, they're just not the same. But what if Java Edition and Bedrock Edition players could log onto the same server together and play Minecraft together? What if you could log onto Hypixel or Mineplex from your phone? For years, I've wanted this functionality in the game. If someone were to write a plugin that allows Java and Bedrock Edition players to play on the same server, it would forever change the game. And now, that has happened. Using Minecraft Bedrock Edition, you can now log on to Java Edition servers using the Geyser Minecraft plugin. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's check this out. So let's cut the chit chat. How can you try this for yourself? Well, logging onto servers like Hypixel or running the plugin for yourself takes quite a bit of work, which I will get into later in the video, but what about just playing Minecraft with your friends with different devices? If I'm on Java Edition and a friend of mine is playing Bedrock Edition on their phone, how can we just play together? Well, that's where the sponsor for this segment of the video comes in, MC Pro Hosting. With MC Pro Hosting, anything you could possibly want to do to configure a Java Edition server, you can just do. Custom maps, easy. Plugins, yeah. Exclusive mini games that you can enable with the flick of a switch, it's got those too. And now, with the push of a button, with no unnecessary setup required, you can now enable Bedrock Edition support for your MC Pro Hosting Java Edition server as well. Want me to prove how easy this is? Server type. Choose a version that doesn't require a Java client mod. Install. Dashboard. Hit the button that says Enable Bedrock Support. Log in. Done. It's that simple the way it should be. The only real two caveats here are things that MC Pro doesn't have any control of. One, anyone using Bedrock Edition also has to own a Java Edition account of their own. And two, you can only use this method if you're on a Bedrock Edition platform that allows for custom IP addresses to be inputted when connecting to a server, meaning Windows 10 and mobile platforms. Now, hang on, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo aren't out of the question yet, but we'll get to that. If you're just an average everyday user and you want an easy solution for dual edition crossplay, consider checking out MC Pro Hosting, where you can also get 25% off of your first month by using the link in the description down below, and as well, get a seven day free trial of any plan to try this functionality for yourself first. While MC Pro Hosting is the best solution for just firing up your own server, another function of Geyser, which does require you to run it for your yourself is the ability to log on to any Java Edition server that you want. Now, before you attempt this for yourself, keep in mind that because the physics between Java and Bedrock differ slightly, anti-cheat systems on these servers might get mad at you for playing on Bedrock Edition, so try this at your own risk. For this reason, I'll be playing on Mineplex, since Hypixel's anti-cheat actually prevents me from moving around at all even if I use their proxy or stuck subdomains to try and connect. So how do we do it? Well, if you've run a Minecraft Java Edition server of your own before, the setup honestly isn't all that much different. Forward port 19132 within your router, download the geyser jar file, run it, open the config, drop in the IP address of the server that you want to connect to, reload geyser, and connect to it using your computer's private IP address, much like you would do if you were self-hosting a Java Edition server. Once you connect, you'll be greeted with a message asking you to log into your Java Edition account. Once you do, 
you are in. You are now on a Minecraft Java Edition server, but on Bedrock Edition. If you want to play on public multi-server networks from Windows 10 Edition or your phones, then this is the method for you. But what about you Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo users out there? Well, because of the terms of services on these consoles, connecting to a custom IP address isn't properly available. However, Geyser still has you covered. Using Geyser Connect, whether running it by yourself or connecting to a Geyser Connect public server by changing the DNS options within your console, you can change where all of the servers on the featured server list will connect you to. By using this option, an options menu will appear allowing you to connect to any server that you want. In my case, I have a local instance of Geyser redirecting me to Mineplex. It just works. I'll leave links in the description down below for those of you who are interested in setting this up for yourself to try it out for yourself. Now, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I tried to break this program. I wanted to see what Geyser's shortcomings were, but at least on servers where it actually lets me move around, it just works. I was actually able to play a variety of Mindplex minigames with relatively few issues. The only real one that I experienced were arrows visually stopping short when playing this chicken target practice minigame. But aside from that, it just works. This right here, this is the future. Just four short years ago, converting Java Edition maps to work on Bedrock Edition was an absolute nightmare. Now, it's pretty easy. Three years ago, we got Bedrock Edition crossplay, and now we have Dual Edition crossplay, where Java Edition players and Bedrock players can enjoy the same server together. Just imagine where we'll be a year or two from now. I envision a future where all major multi-server networks have native support for Geyser, and you can just type in a Java Edition's IP address and just connect, and it'll work flawlessly. We're almost there. I really hope that not only will major multi-server networks get behind this software, but that Mojang will as well, and finally bring all versions of Minecraft together. So yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please consider leaving a like on it and please consider subscribing to the channel for more since only about 20% of you who watch my videos are actually subscribed. If you enjoy this video format, then chances are you'll enjoy the majority of my videos as well. But anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.